Hey, what is up everyone and welcome. This is Zachary and uh, today I'm actually doing some uh, post commentary due to my uh, something something happened on Dossity, it like froze and then like I wasn't able to recover the project for the next so uh, for the next uh, 35 minutes or next four episodes in your guys is your guys is time I'm gonna be doing post commentary which really sucks but um something I have to do unless you guys don't want any commentary or don't want those episodes out but um yeah anyways uh next four episodes like i said are gonna be post commentary so i'm not sure what exactly i'm doing i know i do pretty Look shitty on this going. uh on driving and pretty shitty on this case that's all i can remember nice car roy is that department issue no this is my sled you can't be seen slumming it in a nash if you're in vice school meanwhile we got needle freaks kissing a goodbye all over central avenue All right, so I'm not sure, but I think this might be our first vice case. I can't remember if I've done one before this or not. Oh, here's when I tried turning left, but every single road was closed. Oh, never mind. I found one. The roads before that were all closed. I kept looking left and then close, close, close. <laughs> okay, so this is the first vice case, and as you see, I got a new car or something that I already know because I've already done it. So that's why I hate doing post commentaries because I already know all this stuff. So anyways, Junkie's apartment, 3:55 a.m. Um, I'm not sure what I do, what I'm doing down here. There's nothing down here. I think I talked to someone. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I just got straight to the crime scene after I was wandering around down there. I don't know why I was wandering around down there. Anyways, um, so we're gonna go to the crime scene and we're gonna find a whole bunch of shit. I'll, I'll explain more. Carruthers, Phelps, I've been reassigned to advice. What have we got? Two stiffs, overdosed, been dead a couple of days. Government issue morphine. We use the same syrettes in Okinawa. Fucking Negro junkies can't take supply this pure. You know these guys? I know of them. The younger one's a two-bit horn player by the name of Cornell Tyree. The other one works in distribution. Started using a little too much of his own product and Jack D took exception. He wasn't born that ugly. His name's Lamont. Tyrone Lamont. So who's supplying the drugs? That's easy. Whoever knocked off the wharves in San Pedro. Jack Dragna, Mickey Cohen. Dope's been all upside down ever since Jimmy Utley started the long walk at Quentin. You talk about it like it's a system. It was a system. But those days are long gone. So this guy's kind of, this guy knows everything. Yeah, and we do. But we can't change people. The truth is, everyone wants the license to get a little dirty now and then. Our job is to keep it manageable. <laughs> That's how you see it? See it any other way, and you better forget about being a vice cop. Can we get on with this? Today, preferably? Okay, so, uh, like, he knows pretty much throughout this whole uh, four episodes I'm doing post-commentary, he knows every single, like, person. Like, everyone that's dealing with drugs, which is kind of weird. So anyways, um... That's popcorn right there. At first, uh, I couldn't really tell. Yeah, that's uh, that's a popcorn place, and that's popcorn on the ground. And I forgot to further investigate that right there. And I think I come back and investigate that in a minute after I go investigate other things. Tyrone Lamont, not even 23 years old. That would suck. Not living to 23. Dying that young. Small chance in life is probably better than no chance. So. Took his jolt and drifted off. And I suppose his friend wasn't in any condition to notice that he had stopped breathing. That's why you probably don't do drugs. I mean, if you guys do, I, I guess that's fine, but I'm not, I'm not into that stuff. Street life, I have no idea how dangerous this stuff is. Okay, so here's where I find out that I need to further investigate my old popcorn cup. Another special order from the Caesar. Oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. I do pick it back up and look. Okay. Looks like something was 
tape to the bottom of the cup. And then more morphine. You're gonna see a lot of morphine. That's like that's the main thing. <laughs> Must have been the easiest fix these two ever. Seems had. like so far, even when I'm even, I'm I'm like a around episode 75 right now on my own, and uh, and you're still seeing morphine. <laughs> There's a lot of morphine. It's it might be what the vice case is about, like the for an empty cup. the homicide case was about um uh, about the black dahlia. Right this one the might be just about daylight. morphine. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure where I'm going. I'm looking around. I gotta look at this popcorn cup again. See, I told you I'd go back to it. It's just a matter of time. And there's nothing on the back. But I just went back there and see. Just in case. You never know. There's... I think I examined the next guy. That's what... One cigarette is enough to knock you out for combat trauma. Two of them will stop your heart. Okay, so I back out and go to uh, him to see if he if he can talk to him. Sometimes if you talk to him, he'll tell you stuff before you investigate the body. But that didn't happen this time, so I just went right back into investigation. Or examination. Looks like it was always going to end this way. Say only the good die young. I hope it was true in your case. Look at this guy. This guy's even younger than that other guy. This guy's only 21. The other guy was 22. I think I forgot to look at something in there. Yep, I did. <laughs> Told you I messed up a lot on this case. Who is JJ? And why do these two care about his taste in music? And I think we just have a couple more things to investigate when we're actually done. Another popcorn cup. And with the morphine gone. That's how they distribute it, by the way. Well, you're going to learn that later. Sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> Trumpets, violin. Nothing significant. I just pick them up and look at it. <laughs> I believe I was, I was talking about right here how it sucked to live in a house uh, that's just right outside of the sign. As you can see, the sign is just blinking right there, and that's where you sleep. I, I would find that so annoying. <laughs> so we got some music. We got another piece of paper that's, I think it's the doodles, is what they call them. Some kind of fruit, a bell. And win. Strange doodle. And it actually comes in and play in a little bit as well. Along with the radio station. I wonder what's the correlation between love of the needle and love of the music. 